Welcome back trainers. So we are going to be testing out Venusaur with Vine Whip Solar Beam and Vine Whip Plant Frenzy up against the Pillow Swine Raid. Uh, Alright, so we do run into a few problems, but it doesn't make the test completely useless. But uh, we have some lag here. The um, attack animation doesn't show when the raid boss is attacking and when I dodge it also hits me. So other than that, we're going to get a pretty good idea. And also, the shiny one to the left is maxed out level 40 with 14 in attack. And then the one to the right has 13 in attack and it's at level 39. Now, the attack drop from the shiny to the normal one is only because it has plant frenzy. Uh, it's not because of the IVs or of the level because the level makes no difference right there. It'll bring it up just slightly. Um, but the thing you're seeing is mostly because of, uh, well, mainly because of the moves. All right, so we're going to be seeing some of the lag right here. This is the Plant Frenzy. Shiny doing fairly well right now. Venusaur has always been pretty tanky. So uh, other than this right here, uh, just making it difficult for me to try to take it out. See, what I was trying to do is I was trying to uh, beat this raid boss with just two Venusaur. So uh, it was not happening. I tried several times and I said, oh, okay, forget it. And then we're going to go in with a uh, ho-oh. That's why you've seen that in the beginning there. Okay, so the shiny Venusaur with uh, Vine Whip and Plant Frenzy is doing 32.2. Uh, we'll just say 32 damage per second. And the one with Solar Beam is doing 27. Uh, if it was maxed out, it might be 28. We'll just round it up for it to 28. There we go. Uh, and personally, they were both doing pretty good. See, the difference is I'm able to get off charge attacks quicker with Venusaur with the plant frenzy on the other hand with solar beam you are uh, able to get off a big chunk of damage but the thing is charging it up see what if you have a low health and you need to get off your special now otherwise you're just attacking and wasting you might as well switch off into another Pokemon so you can start charging their charge bar up instead see that's where the plant frenzy comes in you know big time it's very nice because it's just half bar and it does a hundred damage so you're able to get them off quick and then continue and then get another one off as opposed to solar beam you know your attack 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 oh no my health is too low oh it's almost there solar beam you almost ready and then you get defeated and you're unable to get it off and then it's all done there so plant frenzy is the way to go i personally think solar beam is still a very good move obviously especially uh, in sunny weather it's doing what like 200 and something so an extremely strong attack uh, but the thing is you're able to get off more with plant frenzy simple as that so we're able to see and compare right now uh, despite like I said the shadow hits so let's just take a look here um, yeah what quick move do you want for Venusaur it, it depends this one right here charges your bar quicker and you're able to dodge a lot faster so uh, I feel that's more comfortable for me. Uh, the other one is good too. Uh, it's extremely strong. Probably best to have that while you drop it in a gym. So Razor Leaf and then uh, Plant Frenzy. Or even Sludge Bomb because Sludge Bomb, uh, don't, don't change your Plant Frenzy, okay? But Sludge Bomb does neutral damage to fire types. So uh, think about that if you're trying to take as much damage off of your enemy. So this one's about to uh, faint. It, it almost had it down to half. It had took a few shadow hits, but that's okay. And it took a few as well without even trying to dodge. So in with the plant frenzy, let's see what kind of work you can do. Uh, and that, it was at this point where I was thinking to myself, if I keep getting hit by these shadow hits, I'm not even gonna try. Uh, and I think I wasn't even gonna try to dodge all of the uh, charge moves anyways. Um, because usually I would hold off on using my charge bar just wait a few more seconds to see if it uses it so I can dodge but I was just like okay I'm just gonna keep putting them off and it hits me it's whatever so we go in here and as you can see the difference is almost the same I mean they're kind of on par so a shadow hit is actually coming up right now um, there you go it didn't even show the attack it just took off a big chunk of health uh, it was doing this every time, so it was, I was just like, okay, that's fine. I was expecting that to happen. Uh, it would have been nice to do this with two Venusaurs. Uh, easy money, if it was sunny weather, I would be able to do it first try. But uh, it was uh, cloudy? Yeah, 
So only gonna get fairy poison and fighting boost right now. Okay, so this is my second try. I was thinking to myself, all right, I wanna try to take this out with just one ho-oh. Oh, sorry, this is a third try. Um, and then I just said, forget it. <laughs> the shadow hits kept coming in. So we're just gonna do some work with ho-oh here, uh, followed up by Kyogre. So uh, I like using ho-oh whenever I can because honestly I used you know, the resources on it and it looks amazing to me. It's just, um, I know a lot of people don't like the fact that it can't learn a uh, quick move, fire quick move. Um, I think it'll be coming in the future, possibly, maybe, um, but maybe it'll make up with an extremely strong fire move, perhaps sacred fire. Uh, all of these uh, legendaries that have been dropped into the game, well, not all of them, but most of them have a, like a signature move. So they haven't been introduced in Pokemon Go yet. Uh, I don't have any idea how they will introduce them. Maybe po possibly with quests. I, I don't see how or I don't even know. Uh, maybe, the, well actually, you know, technically I'm thinking maybe a community day. <laughs> Legendary community day. I don't know. Who knows, right? We'll just have to wait and see on that. So uh, anyways, back on to ho uh, oh I like using it. I mean, it looks good. I just don't like to neglect it. You know, it's sitting there up on the top. It has a steel and then a grass move right now. So, I mean, it, you know, it does a lot of damage when it's sunny out. But, you know, uh, there's better options to use. So, this is obviously not a speed run. <laughs> if I was trying to do this as fast as possible, uh, I'd probably go with... Um, who would I want to go with? Maybe Kyogre, but uh, I don't know. Probably like something like Entei or uh, Moltres during uh, sunny weather. Uh, and if there was no weather boost, probably Entei again. And maybe Kyogre. I'll have to see, mix it up and see what I can do. But uh, I'm not doing a speed run. And then also we're going to be taking a look at a Jinx raid after this. Using two Mewtwo's and a Metagross. Okay. Uh, I, I, don't, I just felt like using Mewtwo's and giving it a shot. Uh, I wanted to use my Gengars, but then I was thinking, Jinx has extremely high attack. They're going to go down so quick. You know, they're going to do a lot of damage before they go, but at the same time, um, I might as well just use my Mewtwo's because they're going to be able to take the hits a lot better, as you're going to be able to see here in just a minute. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that little demonstration of Solar Beam and um, Plant Frenzy. I mean, which one do I think is better? I, I think um, Plant Frenzy personally because one you'll be able to drop it in a gym and uh, it will be able to attack the enemy before it's defeated if they're using say like a Moltres Articuno or just something that's going to kill it quick uh, Entei <laughs> uh, and um, before it even is able to get off a charge move as opposed to Plant Frenzy it's going to probably put off at least one before it's defeated uh, because the bar is so small well it's two charge bar there so let's go ahead and take a look at this raid and I'll be catching you all next time. Thank you for watching.